Hello, it's Tanil, uh, your clock nappy doctor. I thought I'd pop on and show you a nappy. Because uh, when don't you want to see a nappy, really? So um, I've seen quite a few queries come in about the Rumparoos one size, and I've seen them sitting in carts. Yes, I can spy on your um, carts at Apicali. I can see them sitting in there. So usually when the questions come in and I can see it sitting there, I go, you got questions, but you're not sure. So I thought I'd get on and show you this nappy, the Rumparoos. This is from the um, brand com conglomerate called Kanga Care. Um, and they do Eco Posh and they do Rumparoos. And within Rumparoos is your little joeys and your little learners. So I thought I'd just talk about this one and why we love them at Apicali. Oh, glasses off. So this is a pocket nappy. Very simple. This is how it comes to you, some nice packaging. And what I really like about this packaging, it's got all your instructions. It's got your washing instructions in there, and I'll show you those. It's got how to use it, what's special about it. Then they put all their awards on it. Okay, but it also shows you how to use it. And what's great about this Rumpery system is it's a little bit, if you're looking for a cloth nappy and you got just want to choose one to get started with to see what it's like, I reckon this is a really good one because it, it shows you girl, boy, how to customise it for um, night sleeping, sleep on your front, sleep on your back. You know, you've got some customization and you can sort of play around. It's a one size. So you can see what it's like from newborn-ish up to toilet training. So it comes to you like this. It also comes in uh, an array of prints and someone in the Cloth Nappy Dr. Chats group um, recently, they're doing... Uh, all the prints of the Rumparoos in the month of their baby. So as they hit six months, they've got the nappies lined up in a six and the picture of their bub, which I thought was a beautiful thing to do. What a great way to have a second use of your cloth nappies. There you go. All right, so they come in a range of prints. Um, this one is Tux. It's a black with a pinstripe. There it is, now you can see it, which is very sophisticated. So if you're attending a wedding soon with your baby, all right. Okay, and then they, there's some fun prints. So this is Clyde. This is Clyde and Bonnie. This is Bonnie, and Clyde's a red fox. And then there's a whole heap of other prints, and they're always coming out with some new ones as well. So this one, I'm showing this one because I believe the snaps you can see really well. So it comes like this. It's your oh, comes. Nicely packaged all together. This is its shell. It's all snapped up. They have really strong snaps and they've got little Kanga Cares on them as well. So the brand is all, this brand is about branding their product. So you know you're getting a Kanga Care and a Rumper Roos. So this is a nappy opened up. It's a one size. You can see the snap. They do well at choosing the snap colours so they're hard to see. So you're not going to see them. So it's got three rise settings. One two and three down here so you got four size settings okay some one sizes give you two um this one gives you four or three sets down here it's got two rows two snaps at the waist to give you a bit of a firmer fit to help with those leakage protections there's some elastic at the back there's some elastic in the leg it's obvious isn't it all right but what's on the inside is what makes this product quite unique, is they've got this double gusset, and it's, it has a patent now, um, which is fabulous, which maintains their uniqueness. So they have a double gusset, and this double gusset is a little bit further inside the nappy compared to the ones that you get on this area here on the leg. So it's a bit further in, so it helps with maintaining um, any poo explosions and any leakage so it's further inside the nappy it is a pocket and it's a nice big pocket james used to stuff these when we we're using them for our boys and the pocket is also elasticated so it helps to keep the insert in there and also acts as another ruffling here for those poo explosions up the back so and that also goes over so that less likely to get 
in the pocket for those poo, nasty baby poo explosions. They happen, you can't get away from them. So, I always like to look at the inside of an nappy because then you know it's what you're getting. Alrighty. So this is the inside, and again, which I really love on nappies that are made well, you got two layers of PUL at the front, and they provide sturdiness for those snaps. Hi, Sinead. Sturdiness for the snaps and two layers of leakage protection. Fab. So there's those extra little details that provide you with a great nappy. Now, the standard insert is a microfiber insert that they come with, but you can upgrade to a bamboo or a hemp cotton insert. So the they all have the same design. The, they call it their 6R soaker. That basically means there's six different ways you can do the soaker. There it is. So from new, newborn here, you just need one, which is this one. This is the microfiber, it has to go in the pocket. This nappy is designed that the inserts go in the pocket. It's a little bit harder to place them on the nappy because of that double gusset. You can see there, it's not gonna fit nicely. So this nappy is designed to go in the pocket. So it's got one, one way of using it really, which takes the complications out of it. So it's a great nappy if you're just starting, if you don't wanna worry about all the, how many inserts and layers and everything. This one, I don't know. I hate saying cloth nappies for dummies because it's not. We're not dumb. We're really smart. So, taste the guesswork out, All right? And it takes the guesswork out of guessing what absorbents you need. So, you need one insert for your newborn. So, in the newborn days, the early days, you get two changes. Okay, so we always talk about changes instead of the number of nappies. So, you get two changes in those early days. So, you could instead of buying your twenty-four, you can buy your twelve nappies. These covers are going to buy really dry really quickly. These are going to dry quick because they're. Um, microfiber and these are also a thirsty microfiber they're very dense um, and you can't see through them because some of the cheap nappies if you look at your microfiber inserts you can see through them okay there is one two three layers in here and it's dense and it's trim so on your newborn and yeah I can't get enough of doing things on the newborn setting <laughs> I need grandkids, but my eldest boy is 10. All right, remember, for those who are starting out, if you snap it down at the front, you fold it to the top. Where are we? There we go. Fold it up to the top. Hello, Julie. Hello, Amy. Good morning. Fold it up. So on the front, your two fingers are going up. I know you're probably sick of me saying this. Two fingers going up, not down. All right, so on the new point, you just need the one. And remember, this will dry really quickly because this lining is a micro chamois. Okay, so it's different to your suede cloths and your micro fleece. Um, it's not designed to pill. It's really, it's really, really soft. And it's really soft on the, it, the, the whole thing's soft. Just soft. There you go, newborn. So you can see that gusset already happening. See how it's further inside the nappy? So that poo, when bub goes, hits one barrier, and then it's got to travel another couple of centimetres if it's that bad to get to the one around the leg. Hey, Nicole. Okay. Alrighty. So on newborn. And they're really cute. No, you can never know too much when it comes to MCNs, Amy. Not at all. I'm still learning. I am still learning and I'm, it's amazing. Okay, so there's, there's the newborn, three and a half, four kilos, depends on the size and shape of your baby. Some of them got them, well, that person can go. Here we go. There's the newborn. Alrighty. Now, as bub gets older, you unsnap it. Okay, as they get older. So it's uh, 14, 16 plus kilos. Again, it depends on the size and shape of your baby. All right. Okay, now the inserts have these extra snaps. So it means if bug gets older, you can snap it up the top and put all your absorbency towards the front. If you've got a boy, snap it down for more absorbency at the front. Okay. So you get more absorbency. 
I think that's pretty obvious already. And I'll put the two inserts in so you can see that the largest size. And I, when you snap them up and down, it also fits in with those changes at the front here as well. And on the back of the packet, it tells you all about it. Love it. Alrighty, so on the bigger size. Now they also do inserts in um, bamboo and hemp and cotton. That means they, they're still very absorbent, but it means it holds the absorbency better. So, if, so being able to muck around and customise your absorbency, if your bub all of a your bub is all of a sudden, there we go, there's the bigger with it fully snapped up. If your bub is quick to do a wee, you can just use the microfiber and put some hemp or bamboo at the bottom. So there's the biggest size. Alrighty, and remember as they get older, the back of the nappy sits about two centimetres, three centimetres, about an inch above their bottom. Okay, it's so not designed to be up around their waist because their body's getting longer. Alrighty, so there's your bamboo and there's your hemp cotton. So you can upgrade to these and these are once again, they actually sold out recently. Um, so we've all been waiting for them to come back in. It's phenomenal. So what you can do, so if you've got a bub, say at night, um, or during the day, they do a big wee. They're a bit older. So as bubs get older, they do a really big wee really, really quickly. So maybe six plus a year. Use your hemp or your bamboo and put your microfiber on top. Okay? And those really big wees are going to be caught really fast. And then that microfiber is going to draw it down to your hemp layer. And it's going to hold it. So you're going to be able to get those really big wees that they do being held really well. Okay. Alrighty, so that, and the bamboo is really soft, so soft. So you can upgrade um, the inserts as well if you want to do that or buy an extra insert. And when you do that, you get extra inserts because remember, this is going to dry really quick. So buying extra inserts are half the price of the full nappy, which saves you some money. Alrighty, that is the Rumparoo's pocket one size cloth nappy. I hope it was helpful for you. I'm off to delete some comments. <laughs> oh, hang on. I don't know. Uh, Chanel asks, morning, when the inserts are long, what do you do at the front of the nappy when it is snapped in newborn size? Do you fold the insert within the nappy, making a big bump, or stretch it over the fold? I don't know if that makes sense. So if you're using both inserts on the newborn setting, Chantel, I'm assuming that's what you mean. Okay, so let's do it with that. So that's folded over here. We've got microfiber. I think that could be... Oh, hang on. Let me use the microfiber because these are a little bit longer. These are longer than the microfiber ones, if you can see that. All right, so there's a bit more absorbency in these. So if you're going to use both... Uh, you could put, if it's for the newborn, put the um, bump at the back, okay? If you don't need all that absorbency that's at that front here, put the bump at the back. Where is she? And I'll snap it down. Is that what you're asking? Just confirm for me, Chantel. Hey, Amanda. Alrighty, let's snap it in. Where are you, honey? Okay. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. So I would actually put the bump at the back if you don't need all that absorbency. But if you do, I think you're wanting this at the front. So let me put it in. Watch me do it. Okay, so it goes up. Make sure it's flat with that fold there. Grab it. And I use my hand to fan out like this inside. That's what I'm doing on the inside. Um, yeah, there we go. Just make sure it's towards the back. No, it fits fine. There you go. How's that? Just make sure it's pulled up towards the back and you've got that. And when you pull it through the groin, you've got to remember this is going to stretch out. Okay, so you're going to get a bit more space in there. It's going to fit fine. Funny I had babies. Okay, here we go. So, so when you put it on, 
There we go. It's very, it's going to be very absorbent, Chantel. Really, really absorbent. So it'd be good for nighttime if Bub's sleeping through five hours, if you're that lucky from newborn. Mums who have it, so lucky. Alrighty. Let me know if that answers your question. I can always pop some photos up later today for you. Alright. Yeah, just flat. So on the back of the pack, tells you all about it. Really fabulous. Does that answer it? So it just stays flat. You can put it in this way if you wanted to. So like me, you guys have nothing else better to do this morning. And it can sit at the back. Okay, and it's not as bulky at the front if you wanted to get more absorbency. So if you've got a back sleeper as an option. Just remember, it's going to look a little bit bunched up, but that's because you haven't put it on bub and pulled through. It's going to stretch the material out and get a flat fit when you put it on bub. Okay, let me know if that works. Tell me, just make sure I've, I've answered your question, Chantel. Okay. okay, so that is your Rumper Ruse one size cloth nappy. So maybe you can upgrade your inserts or you can buy them in addition. The hemp ones are a bit longer. The bamboo ones. I also believe they're pre shrunk, so they shouldn't shrink in the wash. If they do, it'll be a little bit. The hemp ones are a bit longer. And there's your bamboo ones. Where's the hemp one? Thank you. See, I don't know everything. It's hard till you play with them. Okay. There you go. Look at that. So your hemp's a bit longer. And then your bamboo and then your microfiber. Okay, so that's maybe for a little little bit of shrinkage. Just in case. I'm gonna go confirm that. Alrighty. Hey Chantel, I only have a pocket type press and prefolds, and it seems hard to stop the insert folding in the snap down section at the front. Like a prefold. It's hard to stop the insert folding in the snap down section. Missing something of on, off the front of the nappy, I think, when it snapped down. Oh, it coming down. Maybe it's boosted too much. If this is specific to rumple ruse, it shouldn't happen. But if it's with another pocket nappy, oh, one pocket type, so it must be. Give me some more information, Chantel. So um, let me know if it's the rumple ruse. If it's not, and it's a different. Uh, brand or brands then we can troubleshoot um, but if this is folding down and if it's not a rumper ruse I say the inserts not long enough and it's not all the way to the front so I'd say you need to insert right to the front right right to the front of the nappy I'd make sure it's right to the front here and grab it and pull through. Now you're not weird, Chantel. Not at all. I'm a bit weird that I'm demonstrating this, I think. All right, right to the front and then grab it and as you pull through. Sometimes parents don't um, hold it at the front. They don't hold the insert and the cover. And when they put it in, it tends to slide down. That's all I can think. It's, it's all right, keep talking to me. I don't mind, all right? Okay, so I'm going to sign off. I hope that has been interesting for you. It has been very interesting for me. I will um, talk to you tomorrow. I'm going to get on and do another one of a um, Rumper Roos because it's a bit of our brand of the week. Um, and I'll show you some more of the Rumper Roos. I might do the Little Joeys. We can all ooh and ah over our cup, cup of tea and... Um, chocolate cake. <laughs> Alrighty, I will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.